Hello. Okay. In this lesson, we are going to talk about gravity. Okay, so this is our last science lesson for the month. Um, so some of us that were um, in class today, we did we did read it, but I'm going to record it for those of you who were not in class or who missed it. So we're going to read this book called What is Gravity? Level FG, written and illustrated by Travis Schaefer. Okay, so we're going to be talking about gravity, and this is Simon. This is part of the Simon Science Series. Simon is going to be learning about gravity today, and some of the pictures behind him, one is a cloud with rain falling, another is a picture of the earth, and a picture of an apple falling. So we're going to talk about gravity, and I know we talk about apples a lot when we talk about gravity. So let's see. Let's start reading. Simon wants to learn about gravity. Simon goes outside to learn what gravity is and how it affects us. Okay, so Simon wants to learn more about gravity. So he goes outside to learn what gravity is and how it affects us. And we have already talked about gravity some when we were um, reading some of our chapters, like the chapter about soccer, we learn about gravity and what it is. We talked a little bit about it. So now we're going to learn about gravity a little more with Simon. Simon looks at the ground and then at the sky. Earth has gravity. Gravity is the force that pulls objects to Earth. Gravity is what keeps everything on Earth from floating into space. Okay, so we talked um, a, a lot about forces this month, okay? Forces are things that make objects or people move, okay? So forces that make things fall to the ground, like gravity. There's forces that make things move far away or close, like pushing something away or pulling something towards you. There's forces like magnets, that pull things towards them, okay? There's a lot of different kinds of forces. So gravity is one type of force that pulls objects toward Earth, okay? And it's what keeps us on the ground. Gravity is like a magnet. Magnets pull objects together. Gravity does the same thing. Earth's gravity pulls objects to it. Earth is like a big, strong magnet. Okay, so in our last chapter in our book, we talked about magnets, okay? So this is some kind of like a refrigerator magnet, okay? Earth is like a very big, very strong magnet. It pulls everything toward it, okay? Gravity is not only on Earth. It is also in space. The sun has very strong gravity. The sun's gravity pulls on all of the planets in our solar system. It is what keeps Earth moving around the sun. Okay, so gravity is also in space and other planets and stars and things in space also have gravity. So gravity is on Earth. Okay, and there's other planets that have more gravity and other planets that have less gravity than Earth. Okay, the sun has very strong gravity. It pulls planets toward it. So it pulls Earth around it, okay? So without gravity, Earth would float far away from the sun. But because of gravity, it stays um, not too close to the sun because it would be too hot, but it doesn't go too far because it would get too cold on Earth for any life to live. So... It stays just the right distance because of gravity. The moon is pulled by Earth's gravity. Gravity is what keeps the moon moving around Earth. Okay, so another thing um, that is affected by gravity is the moon. Okay, so remember I mentioned that some things have more gravity than Earth and some have less. So the sun has more gravity than Earth and the moon has less. That's why if you went to the moon and you tried to walk on the moon, you would float. You would not stay on the, the surface of the moon. 
without something maybe to keep you pulled toward it. Okay, because it does not have gravity on its own. Gravity pulls, gravity from the earth pulls the moon toward it. Okay. So we have some in space, there's not really any gravity. So you kind of float around. You need to have something to keep you anchored so you don't float away forever. Simon tests gravity. He picks up the ball and holds it in front of him. He drops the ball. Gravity pulls the ball down towards the ground. That is gravity. Okay, so Simon tests gravity by get, by picking up a ball and dropping it, okay? Just sort of like I have my pencil, I drop it, okay? If you drop something, it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay. The only way it stays is if you keep holding it. But if you drop it, it will it'll go straight down, okay? <laughs> that is gravity. Things don't stay floating in the air, which would be kind of nice if it did sometimes. Simon tests gravity. He throws the ball up in the air. The ball moves up, but gravity slows it down as it gets higher. Then, gravity begins to pull the ball back down to the ground. That is gravity. Okay, so he tests gravity by throwing the ball up in the air. So it'll go high if you push it or throw it up in the air, but it comes back down. It only goes so high and then it has to come down. That's gravity, okay? And what goes up must come down. You've got to remember that. So nothing stays up. Everything comes down eventually. Simon thinks about how gravity affects other things. Rain falling from clouds is an example of gravity. An apple falling from a tree is an example of gravity. Okay, so he's thinking about how gravity affects other things. Okay, so rain falling from a cloud is an example of gravity. How do you think that is? Okay, well, I'm going to explain it the best I can, but clouds, what clouds are, are like very tiny droplets of water that are very light that are in the air. They, they stay floating in the air, okay, but the the drops of water get heavier and heavier in the clouds, so they can't stay floating in the air, okay? So the, the heavier the drops of water get, the more that they're, they're not going to stay up in the sky. They're going to start falling, and that's rain, okay? So the bigger the drops get, the heavier they get, and then they start falling to the ground, okay? So clouds are kind of like... Um, just very light, very small, tiny drops of water in the air, okay? And that's a, that's a lesson for another time. But water just turns into different types of matter. So there's water that's a liquid, water that's a gas. So when water is in very tiny, tiny droplets floating in the air, that's a gas. So that's clouds, okay? But when it turns back into a liquid and gets bigger into bigger drops, it gets heavy. And it, of course it falls because of gravity. Things that are too heavy to stay up in the air eventually have to fall down to earth. An apple falling out of a tree is also an example of gravity. Apples, when they get big enough, they get, um, too heavy to stay on their branch so they end up falling to the ground because they're too heavy to stay in the tree simon has learned about gravity he learned what gravity is and how gravity affects us okay so he learned a lot about gravity what it is and how it affects us the end Okay, this one also has a communication book. If you want somebody to quiz you, find some of the words from the book. Like maybe, can you find the word gravity? And remember, we always look for the apple tree with the apple. Gravity. Okay, how about the word magnet? We talked a lot about magnets today. There's a magnet. There's a magnet. How about um, one of our vocabulary words we talked about in all of our chapters? And um, we talked about forces that move things. Pull, okay? Pull, which is symbolized by the person pulling a wagon behind them. 
pull. Okay. Those are some of the vocabulary words. Can we think of any more? Maybe drop or fall? Drop slash fall. Okay, drop something that drops or falls is because of gravity, like my magnet that I just dropped. Okay, so those are some of the vocabulary words. Maybe try to find some more. And you can pause the video now. Um, and resume it when you're ready try to answer some of the questions on your own and then you can start it um, and correct it and see what I answer resume. okay I'm back okay so I hope you had a chance to um, answer the questions let's go over them now number one what keeps us from floating into space what keeps us from floating off into space is it a gravity b rocks or c moon what did we talk about what is gravity gravity gravity, gravity keeps us from floating into space number two two what does gravity do Okay, what does gravity do? What kind of force does gravity have on us? A, push, B, stop, or C, pull? Do you think gravity pushes us away? Push. No. Does it stop us? Stop. No. Does it pull us? Pull. It pulls us toward the earth. Okay, number three. Three. What is earth's gravity like? What is Earth's gravity like? Is it like A, a diamond, B, magnet, or C, brick? Is it like a diamond? Diamond. Is it like a magnet? Magnet. Yeah, magnets pull. So if you have refrigerator magnets at home, put it close to your refrigerator or something metal. Close. See how close you can get it but without touching it okay and then you'll feel that it starts to pull toward the refrigerator door or the metal whatever metal you put it on okay you, if you don't touch it it'll pull toward it okay it's kind of neat try it number four what has gravity to pull all planets what has gravity to pull all planets a snow b earth or c sun is it snow snow is it earth earth no is it sun sun yes the sun has a strong gravity pull and five five what is an example of gravity okay what did we talk about in the story that's an example of gravity is it a rainfall b umbrella or c dark clouds remember what is when the water gets too heavy and it has to fall toward earth rainfall okay so that's our lesson on gravity i will see you later have a good day